Hello and welcome. You're watching on Bosco Media Network. This is Monni Sarumbai bringing to you the solution news across the globe. The solutions of Don Bosco in the Dominican Republic have inaugurated the Solution Environmental Training Center, Eco Bosco, a space built with the aim of promoting environmental care and defense of natural resources among the country's youth. The Eco Bosco Center is located in Arroyanus de Basima in the province of Villa Ata Grecia, 45 minutes from the city of Santo Domingo in an area of about 40,722 square meters. It was built with the support of the Swiss Silesian NGO, Jugen Hilfi, Wetwig, through the Foundation Siliciano Don Bosco, and was also supported and by funds received through the Office for the Formation of No Profit Associations, ASFL, granted by the Department of Community Participation of the Ministry of Education. The project is a, is a response to the concern that the solutions of Don Bosco have been expressing for some time now concerning the care of the common home. Thus, they have decided to create new ways of responding to the new challenges posed to the reality of youth, focusing their line of action on fostering the social commitment of young people in favour of the environment, allowing them to have a living and close contact with nature. Father Gildasio Mendes, General Counselor for Social Communication and the other members of the World Consultation on Social Communication, entrusted all the communication delegates and their teams to Our Lady of Atima to be true educators and evangelizers in the digital habitat. The last day of the World Consultation on Social Communication 2022, held in Lisbon from October 29 to November 1st, was marked by a visit to Fatima and the consecration of all communications delegates and their teams to Our Lady of Fatima. In a place as rich in spirituality as the Shrine of Fatima, the participants had the opportunity to pray, learn about the history of the Fatima apparitions and simply stay in the house of Our Lady. The Mass in the Chapel of Apparitions, presided over by Father Mendes, was one of the most significant moments of the day. In his homily, on the day when the whole church celebrates the solemnity of all saints, Father Mendes described Our Lady as a communicator of life and hope, and went on to say that she was not afraid of the people or the community. When push comes to shove, all humans will eventually have to learn to coexist peacefully with their environment. Following this stance, the Africa-Nigerian-Niger province has decided to find a way to reach the youths, then the masses, about the need to all be participants of the Green Alliance project. What other way to garner massive youth participation than through entertainment and shows that appeal to their senses? This is where the Don Bosco online radio of the ANN province comes in. Since its inception five years ago, the radio has successfully organized two beautiful editions of the Africa Phase of Peace pageant, A AFOP, with the respective winners coming from the Ibadan and Akure communities of the ANN province. This third edition took a bigger and more dynamic format. It started with incorporating the theme of environmental sustainability into the pageant and choosing to select two winners as opposed to one. They chose a king, a queen and three members of their court. After the intense month of October, which saw the Rector Major participate in a long series of events from the Congress of Works and Social Services in Turin to the events for the canonization of Artemide Zati from the Honoris Causa in Pedagogical Sciences Ceremony in Palermo to the visit to Croatia and Northeast India for the centenaries of Silesian presence, the month of November also promises to be full of commitments for Father Angel Fernandez Artime. Beginning with his visit to Ligura on November 3rd to 5th to visit the historic work in Alasio and celebrate 150 years of activity of the Silesian works in Giona, San Pierre de Rena and Varazi. The work in Alasio, the first Salesian school erected outside Piedmont, has been led by a group of lay people since last year with the accompaniment and under the responsibility of the Special Circumscription of Central Italy, ICC. It was to celebrate its 150th anniversary in 2020 with the rector major scheduled for a visit, but it was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The General Counselor for Youth Ministry, Father Miguel Angel Garcia Murquende, visited the India Chennai Province INM from October 25th to 31st. Despite the little time, he was able to visit 16 Silesian houses, 
starting from the provincial house where he met with the heads of the Silesian Institute of Graphic Arts, SIGA in English, the Silesian Institute of Communication Arts, DBICA, and the Silesian Institute of Psychological Services, DBIPS in Nirai Vagam. He was also at St. Mary's Catholic High School, CBSC, and the Basilica, as well as the local shrine dedicated to Our Lady of Lourdes, he went to St. Gabriel Center, Don Bosco Beatitudes, Don Bosco Tech Campus, as well as Don Bosco Gandhi Nagar, the Cut Party Work, Don Bosco Polur in Viralur, Don Bosco ITI, Don Bosco Matriculation School, and Wisdom Town. He spent a day visiting six provinces in the rural areas of the province in the areas of Velour and Thiruna Vamalai. Here he reminded the youth in these most vulnerable areas that money does not make us richer, but the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Until we meet again, thank you for watching.